that's why I think we need these here. Oh my god. What? I just realised we can cut down the entirety of our house. And then make wood with it. Okay, well that would not be a good idea. Would it not? Would, why would that be a good idea? Can you explain your theory here? Nope. You can't explain it? Nope. And you're just gonna do it? Yeah. You're gonna cut down our house? Yeah. Why would you do such a thing? Because I hate the house. You hate the entire- oh god, I'm glitching quite a terrible amount. But it's fine. I'm not be glitching anymore. Okay, red net cable I don't really like. Why can't we have red power? Jeez. Red power's gone missing, hasn't it, really? How do you mean? Well, it's just kind of gone. It's just gone. I don't really know what, what to red say. Power? You do even know what red power is, do you? No. That is the sign of a noob. Look, I get by. Don't I? Not really. No. I'm here now. I have a company and everything, and... And we have a company, and we've got to make a door. We're having trouble with a door right now. Don't worry, I'm making some sticks for you. Because we actually used like two stacks of logs in making eight of those frame things. Because <coughs> they were ruddy expensive. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to say <coughs> that the next page we have this signal looping back round okay got quite a few logs which I'm gonna go uh, turn into some frames for you okay so the orange signal comes in there that comes in from the back what we need to do is we need to Pulse, I guess. Oh, hello. How you doing? Oh, Weber, we're recording, by the way. Oh, sick! That's he actually right. did turn up at 4 ish. Yeah. Well, 4 20. Well, I, mean. I did just get back from town, so. But how was town? Oh, it was bloody amazing. How was Bo and the boys? Harry Potter's. Oh, right. Yeah, we should probably mention that Harry Potter's son goes to our school. Yeah. Big shout out to Potter. Potter, Potter boy. Potter boy. I, I just typed in Potter on the ME terminal now. Because of that. <laughs> Alright. Right, you want our FTB Unleashed? Yeah. Right. If you you have to go into the Dropbox first and download frames, though. Frames. Yeah. Well, I suppose we can give the, the guys on here a bit of a taste of what we have to go through to download the mods. Yeah. Typical day at TLGA. This, this is what happens, guys. So I go Dropbox. How do I, um... Magic. How do I make it. multiple pulses? Okay. Multiple pulses. I did it, Mom. No, What'd you I do? Gotta, I just gotta make some orange dye. Well, I did it. Do, Max. did it. I made eight... Frame carriages. Yeah. What did you okay. do, Max? I'm coming over, Thomas. Tommy Tiddly Toddler. So Tomorrow. which one do I need to download, Tommy? Uh, you need you. to download frames. Okay, guys, we're gonna get Weber on, and then we'll keep recording again. We're making no, no, frames. it's fine. We'll give, them, we'll give them a. We'll give them. I know. A, I know, but I need to actually. I need to look up something anyway. So we need to cut it anyway. All oh, right. Okay. Cool. And guys, after a lot of work, it was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. You can see I've actually lost a lot of hunger. Um, geez, that was actually rather painful. I uh, didn't even need the red stone repeats in the end. I just made a ton of red net controllers, as you're about to see downstairs. Um, I'll basically explain it very simply. Uh, well, I'll try. I'll try to explain it quite complicatedly. Well, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. So basically, the signal comes in, and it instantly gets pulsed just into a pulse. There we go. And once the pulse comes in, it gets T flip flopped, and it flips flops between yellow and light green. Okay. The yellow and lime, we'll say. So, any yellow signal comes in, gets pulsed into a purple signal, and then any uh, green gets pulsed into a light blue signal, lime gets pulsed into a light blue. So the purple then gets delayed for 30 seconds in this one, 60 seconds in this one, and no time at all 
in one of these ones somewhere here. Well, here, um, you'll see that the yellow signal just comes straight through and makes a purple signal. All of these make purple signals, so after no seconds it will make a purple signal, after one and a half seconds, and after three seconds, so that's the signal times. And the same happens here, light blue makes dark blue for 30 seconds, uh, light blue makes a dark blue after 60 seconds, and the green comes straight through to make a dark through after no time at all. Then all the signals gather in these frames, so after no, nothing, no time, or after a couple of ticks, then after one and a half seconds, and then after three seconds, and that, as you're about to see guys, makes the door move. So the way you walk in, and this is pretty much the only way it's going to work properly, the person walks in, waits for the door to close, or open, and then walks in again, and then the door will close behind them. So there we go, we've got a pretty nice system there. So now all we have to do is just curry, uh, curry up. Just curry, curry up. up. Curry up. Curry up. Jeez, you're so slow, just curry up. Sorry, Max. Oh. Am I a bit curried? Look at this. Actually, I'm having curry tonight. Are you? <coughs> yeah, chicken korma. Here we are, Max. There's a the door. Would you like to put the sign down then? Uh, I would love to. It would be my honour. Look at that. Look at that amazing door. It doesn't look like there's anything there at all. But uh, course, wh where's the sign? Um, it has to go up. Oh, good job, Max. You think you've ballsed up already? Nah. Huh. Huh. Okay, be careful doing that. Okay, right, so you know where the sign goes, yes? Yeah, can I can I have the sign now? Oh yeah. I don't have the sign. What oh. Well, well it's just cannibalize one. You hooked it up on the wall. Uh right? let's take this one. Wait, no, take away the sticky piston door one. Oh yeah. Okay, anyway. You should be very careful now around these doors if you're placing down signs. Okay, I'm going to drop off all my guff, because I don't need this anymore. Well, that was actually extremely difficult. Um, but there we go, we've got a door. Lovely. Nice. We've made a door. A single door. Door. That was rather poor. In the end. Nah. Yeah. It was worth it, worth it. Was it though? Yeah. In some, some way or another. Okay, let's throw away all this. Let's put away my screwdriver that I probably won't need ever again. Let's put away these levers, put away this quarry block. And I've also got to remember now to put oh, the no. marble texture oh, as the quarry block. I was suffering in the door. How did you suffer Kate, in the door? Well, I tried to go through. There we go. It's a lovely door though, isn't it? Yeah, if you go over here... Yeah. This is a really nice house, Max. This looks really nice in uh in my texture pack. Yeah. Salt axe. Right. And what is this gonna be? Well if you go and look over yonder. Okay. Make hobnob shop. Oh, this is the hobnob shop, is it? How do customers shop over. how do customers even get in there? Um They go through a door. Yeah, but how do they get to the door? Isn't it quite obvious? No, not really, actually. Because there's oh, an actual okay. way to get through. Actually, no, you could just put a fence down here, but the only other fence is over this side. And uh, that means, basically, they can't get to it anyway, so... Well, there we go. We made the door, everyone. That's that's the progress of the day. And also fertilizer, we did. Who are... Oh, cock. So, that is really nice, actually. I love those frames. Very really nice. So we can get rid of the sign. There we go. Done. Boom. So the next thing we need to do is well, Max is making the hop shop shop right now. Um, hop shop shop. We can work on that number six later. Uh, make sign. What does that actually mean? Uh, you just have to make a sign. What do you mean? Just make a sign. As in like a wooden sign? I don't know, just a sign. Do you on the, on the factory? Mm, nah. What do you mean, sign? Can you please explain? Well, no, it's one. just a sign. Okay, so we've done that then. Yeah, probably. Okay. We're done. We've done that one. So the last thing to, th the last thing we need to do is make the XP farm on the second level. 
to do that, we're going to need a soul shard. So next episode, guys, we're going to make a soul shard. It's a little bit different now. Um, but upstairs, you'll see that we've got this brain in a jar and the soul cage. And, yeah, they've um, been uh, they've been festering up there for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So I think to make this um, oh, for the XP farm, I think we're going to have to... What sort of mobs should we just kill constantly? Uh, zombies. Do you think they don't really drop anything good? They drop carrots. And iron. Okay. Well, if you want, to, if you want to do zombies, I don't think it'd be a very good idea. Actually, zombies. I think. Actually, hang on. I think um, rotten flesh is pretty good now. Why? What can you do with that? I think you can cook it into leather. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah, with a piece of sugar. Okay, fine. We'll make a. <laughs> Fine, we'll make a, a zombie spawner then. So yeah, next episode, we'll make a soul shard, kill loads of zombies, and for now. And but for now. Well, we could do cows. We could do cows. Because they're actually useful. They are actually useful, but zombies do drop iron. Maybe constantly. you could have a nice steak with your hobnob. Do you think? Cows are a lot more difficult to find than zombies. Uh, I don't know. I did. Fine, we'll do cows then. We'll do we'll do whatever we will decide in the we'll we'll see what happens. Okay, thank you for watching guys. We'll see you next time. See Goodbye. You later, folks.